Okay, we're still chatting about as your soul proce uh, prospers and um, the connection that's necessary for the prosperity of the soul. I'm going to read um, a couple of the scriptures that are listed on this particular slide. The first scripture is um, 3 John um, chapter 2, um, 3 John um, verses 2 and 3. Um, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. And in verse 3, um, John proclaims how happy he was to hear about the prospering souls of the brethren. Um, and hopefully that's you. Um, but you can't walk in something that's not in you, and you're going to find that in 1 John chapter 1, verse 6. Psalms 1, verse 1 said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. And continuing with um, the aspect of walk, um, 1 John 1 verse 7 says, Walk in the light as he is in the light, so you can have fellowship one with another. This, con this is what the connection represents. It represents uh, or manifests in these particular scriptures. And so if you don't find yourself walking in the light, if you don't find yourself um, walking based on something that's within you, and if there's, then you need to work about work on the connection. Um, if the connection is adequately established, you know, when you think of connections, think of a plug that's in the wall. Um, those of you that live in countries where you plug the electricity into the wall, or you plug, or if it's a computer, you're plugging a computer um, to get electricity. You're charging your phone, even if you're using solar. Um, you have to have some sort of connection in order to have adequate supply of energy, adequate supply of power to the device. And you are no different. Um, as an individual that has been created with creativity, you are connected to the vine. And so the, the garden man, the person that's over the garden, um, is the Lord. And he is the one that supplies you with what you need so that you can adequately prosper and have prosperity in your soul. Uh, so think about your connections. Think about where th connections may be a little weak. You don't, you're do not you not empowered enough to minister or do whatever it is that you need to do. And reestablish the connection by getting back with the Word, getting back with fasting and prayer, um, sharpening or honing on your gifts, making sure that you're relevant, and things of that nature. Um, the way that you walk is says a lot about what's in you. And your Christian walk says a lot about the prosperity of your soul. And it's important for you to anchor your soul in the Lord. Again, it is important for you to anchor your soul in the Lord through prayer, through consecration, through supplication. And so with that, we're going to move on to our next assignment. And this assignment is pretty interesting. Um, there are two parts to this assignment. The first part says, write a narrative essay on the following statement. Your Christian walk says a lot about the prosperity of your soul. Again, your Christian walk says a lot about the prosperity of your soul. Um, you can write if that's true, if that's false, and substantiate your answer. Um, compare and contrast, bring in different people in the word that walked the Christian walk, and um, or maybe there are other authors that you've read. Um, bring those in and talk about the prosperity of the soul. The second question says, explain how the cycle of life relates to the prosperity of your soul. Uh, these are two aspects that are going to propel us into the next set of discussions. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thank you for your attention, and we'll be back with the next aspect of growth.